welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We are just after coming back from the Ireland game. The final score was Ireland 1, Austria 1. How do you think the game went, lads? Um, I think Ireland were quite, for the majority of 90 minutes, actually quite negative towards the game. We were a little bit too ponderous in possession, too deep in our play when we actually got the ball and stuff. And we didn't have enough of the ball for a team that had Arthur and Hendrick in central midfield as well. We didn't get enough. and. When we were playing the ball to Walters, we were playing it to him far too quick. We were playing to him as soon as we got possession back, we were trying to play the ball long to Walters instead of taking a touch, playing the pass across to the next player and stuff like that. We weren't actually playing a pass and letting McLean and Brady get up close to him and try and actually win that second ball. We were just kind of playing the ball straight up to Walters and hope to God he you know kind of held it up and did something yeah, I, I didn't it. find he got a lot of support anyway like yeah. the balls were coming up to him but they didn't really make the most of the of the wire players how do you think I of like that I thought just as soon as I saw the formation the Austria playing three at the back and the five in the middle I thought instantly we were going to gonna kind of struggle there I think I don't you think many, getting overloaded, like. yeah I don't think many of the players had, had their best games I think um, in terms of an overall performance on the team Ward as much as I said he was I, I liked him in the premiership last year diabolical today I, I think, think he was carrying a knock because he did go off yeah. the game. Yeah. I mean, he looked like in the first half he looked like he pulled up with something I remember myself and Steve were looking at him and they noticed he pulled up with his, his legs started holding the back yeah. of his hamstring I think <laughs> and I think, <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> looking at you think or you think I, I, I think yeah. uh, looking at going forward as well though I think Newcastle are in a bit of trouble next year Duffy's Duffy's passing is just horrendous. It was Duffy's playing for Brighton. Brighton. Oh, Brighton, sorry. Yeah, Clark plays for. No, yeah. Clark, yeah. sorry, I'm, 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 I'm uh, a few points in. <laughs> we'll let you out. Let me out of there, um, lads. Yeah, as far as uh, I just thought that Glenn Whelan was quite. Uh, he just he was he, no energy out of him. Like I kind of feel bad for him in in a way. Uh, we don't really have anybody else in that position at the moment. Now I feel when he went off, I I thought when Walters was given the captain's armband, that's when he kind of spurned to life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think you s- think <laughs> every time we're gonna um, get some titles on that. <laughs> <laughs> go on, put some titles on it. Right, go on, go on. Um, <laughs> but when McCarthy's back fit, obviously McCarthy not fit for this game, not in the squad. And yeah, it's a like matter that. of keeping him fit. Though, yeah, McCarthy comes into that midfield and plays with Hendrick and Arthur. I think he actually gives Hendrick and Arthur more. <laughs> more space to actually go forward or, or aren't there more space to play the ball forward and play the key passes Hendrick more space to bomb on and dribble a yeah. bit and kind of spread the ball to the wingers after a little run Whelan kind of constri- like constrict us a little bit where he's so deep all the time he's basically playing as a third he's so slow defender. now you know what I mean yeah he's a very slow ponderous mm. player where yeah. he gets a ball at his feet he will usually play the right pass, but the problem is the right pass is three seconds late, well, and that's the issue with Glenn Whelan. Thinking about the midfield and look, thinking the whole way across the midfield. What are your thoughts? And my thoughts are that Hendrick thoughts. wasn't up to it today. I thought I thought it was quite disappointed with Hendrick. I think Harry Arthur and Hendrick give them a few games together. They will, they will be what we need in the midfield. I so don't I think know. Hendrick is a bit anonymous. He was today. Yeah, yeah. I think he does give a lot of direction going forward in general. Um, Usually he's kind of quite yeah, influential. He is, yeah, he is. But Brady again, was quiet too, though. Then again, it, I don't know if we have the striker to lead the line that formation. That formation it, it excites me, but um, Walters did all right, but again, yeah, he's well, not that big. Actually, no. Long, yeah, but can Long play that solo role by himself? He didn't do too much at Southampton this year. He is a great player, don't get me wrong, but I don't think his stature as a player yeah. will suit that. And then again, Murphy was just, that was my main reason on Newcastle. Murphy was didn't do anything for me like he, yeah. he just anonymous anonymous in the in the championship as well for most of the season too see my argument with Murphy is I actually opposed to you actually feel Murphy did a lot for us when he came on physically I think, yeah physically he won a lot of ball when we were playing a forward he did a lot more than Walters and actually winning the ball I think more so let me free Johnny Walters yeah. to actually run behind the no, fences he did. They definitely and chase balls, things yeah. with getting the ball to you know getting the ball to Murphy's feet and Get a ball back to a winger or central midfielder or whatever, and getting Walters more in the game in that sense. Where Murphy was winning the first ball, playing the second ball back to a central midfielder or to a winger, and the ball was coming behind to Walters. Then I think Murphy works really well in a partnership with someone. I don't think Murphy is a striker by himself. I don't think it actually works. He's too doesn't think he, <laughs> oh, he he's doesn't too think, man. he's too slow. And he's not enough of a finisher. 
yeah, for it okay. to actually work. But well, let's uh, let's speak about finishing. Anyway. We were talking about the uh, Austrian goal. I mean, I thought it was very cleverly worked. It looked like it was straight off the training ground. Yeah. Um, you were quite critical of Randolph for the goal, but I don't see what what he did wrong. I think it was Ward though. So he picking him up. I think it was Ward was supposed to pick uh, Hinterger up, but he Pulled got lost in the you? shuffle <laughs> of the ball coming in. He <laughs> no, he doesn't. And I haven't seen Randolph. Or the mistake Randolph made since because we, have, we haven't watched TV yeah. on it yet. We're still sitting at the side of the canal. But um, I do feel that Randolph, he's a goalkeeper and he's a goalkeeper at the top level. A goalkeeper at the top level shouldn't be beat at his top or at his front post. And uh, that's the way he came back across it. Like, I think the, 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 whoever is marking him, I think it was, it, was it was a great finish. So I don't know if you can blame Randolph. I think that's just part of the he's criticism. He's right in the bottom corner. I, 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 don't, I, I feel like I'm uh, his bodyguard or something. I'm always nice standing up for that. Nice level. place to put it. You put the ball back where it came from, and I, I think it was finished well, but it was whoever was supposed to be picking him up. A ball shouldn't be allowed to bobble around yeah. the box like that either. And as far as uh, our goal, very, very well. Like, the determination of Walters. Yeah, well, I was delighted with that number three. What's Frag- the time yeah, yeah, time with all the time waste and the injury, and then yeah. get a little nudge, and he was gone, and... and Walter's finish. It's great finish from great where finish. we were sitting. We were sitting by the corner flag. It looked yeah. like he was going wide. Whatever way he's like, uh, cut across it, it's a great finish. It's a great finish. Most uh, awkward looking technique though. Yeah. It, it looked yeah. like he had completely missed hit it. But the buzz when he scored that goal, the buzz mm. was electric. Like the, he, I got a shiver as then when we saw him. Ah, the, the stadium it was, just, it, was it was It was great. Like um, long, long overdue. We, we, we wish we kind of the fans didn't really stop singing now. Throughout no. in fairness, they did try uh, get the players back. Uh, I thought when the substitutions were made, when Whelan went off, and then um, McGeady mm-hmm. and uh, Hulhin came on, as well as uh, Murphy, and I thought the subs did make the difference. Yeah. Um, subs that might, might not have scored, but they did make the difference. And as far as uh, the uh, the other Walters chance, I mean, it was just unlucky. But on another day, that goes in, and we win in two one, and and we got three points clear. Yeah. You know. The other thing then to talk about, I suppose, was it a goal or? Was that not a goal? Um, I think at the end, like the goal was, I think it was unfortunate that we didn't get second goal. And I can't see a hell of a lot wrong with what happened there. I think Duffy just beats the defender in the air to the ball and puts it in the back of the net. For me, the referee completely bottles it. I think the referee had a great game. All he around. didn't have a great game from our point of view, but I think that decision in particular, he absolutely bottles it. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Completely agree. I think. As one of the lads mentioned when I was walking in the stadium, uh, as Plaquetta and Bellerin in the, in the Premier League, as Plaquetta went through, through the ball, through Bellerin, and put the ball in the back of the net, and it was a fair goal. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. If, if a man's standing still and someone jumps and runs at him, he's going to fall over. Yeah. But the ball was there to be won. It wasn't wasn't anyone, anyone's ball. If it had been against the keeper, maybe it was a different issue. But we were lucky in some cases like that. We had two cleared off the line as well. Yeah. Yeah. We did have our chances. Um, I don't, I, honestly, I don't, besides the goal, I don't really remember uh, Austria having too many chances, or didn't I? No, no. I haven't Austria. watched the game back, obviously, because we haven't been home yeah. yet, but like, I this is more of an instant match reaction. Yeah. I believe we kind of lost the game in an attack and said, defensively, Duffy was, all, Duffy was fine, uh, he didn't really do much wrong. Kevin Long was outstanding for me. Absolutely outstanding in central or in central right. defence. He didn't do anything wrong. Long he, was good. Every time he got the ball, he moved it forward. Everything like that. He he kind of, from a defensive standpoint, kind of kept a stick in. I I think Cyrus Christie probably had the quietest game he's ever had for Ireland. Today. Yeah, he put a great ball in though, and just, just, <laughs> straight across the goal. That's where I'm yeah. saying we're lacking that striker. Any decent striker will be there, not in. And that was one. That was one all a lot earlier than we hit the one all. Any more thoughts on the game, or will you leave it at that? Um, I think based off this, that we obviously we haven't seen the end of the Serbia Wales game. It's going on as we're speaking. That result isn't the worst thing in the world for us. It's a really bad result for Austria. Austria yeah, needed yeah. to win over here to give themselves a realistic chance. We still have to play Georgia. And we still have to play Moldova. Realistically, whether unless we mess up with it, we're gonna get six points out of those two games. And at that point, it's a result out of the Serbia game or the Wales game to knock Austria out of it for either yeah. us or Serbia as it stands. If we were to win one of those games against Serbia or Wales, we're probably going to qualify for at least a playoff. So it's not the worst in the world for us. From an Austrian point of view, 
it's an absolute disaster. They needed to win that game to realistically have a chance of putting it in their own hands at any stage in the rest of the qualifying campaign. Okay. Just to finish up, how do we feel after the one-all draw? Deserved? Disappointed? What do you think? We should have won the game. Yeah. Absolutely, we should have won the game. Yeah, the chances. But I would tell before the game, we would have taken one off. Yeah. As well, a worst case scenario, one all would have done us. Yeah, uh, I would agree. We did say it uh, during the game. Like a lot of people were telling us to win and hammer Austria, but uh, didn't have you know um, they're not a bad side. Like regardless of what's going on, um, and they showed they're not really a bad side. Uh, as far as you know. I didn't think that we were going to come out and hammer them. I thought if we were going to beat them, it would have been in like a 2 1 yeah, yeah, or 1 0 sort of. Um, yeah, that's the way I feel. I'm happy enough uh, with a draw. And uh, hopefully now, if we can beat Georgia and Moldova and then uh, go into the Serbia game full of confidence um, and get a result. Fine. Hopefully. I, I, yeah, I, I, I thought we would have won it. Again, I didn't think it was going to be simple. I thought it was going to be a hard fought win. Yeah. Maybe a goal in it. I didn't. Maybe, maybe two. But uh, I thought that. Um, I just thought that we'd expose their back line a little bit more. They did drop the tree in the back, which secured them up. They're not great at the back. But if we had been on our game offensively, I think we would have we would have definitely won it. I suppose when you're 1-0 down for that long and you score, you're kind of happy with taking the 1-all. And we would have taken 1-all before that goal went in. Yeah. But uh, I would have liked to win. I thought we would have got the win. But so here we are. And as you said, if we win the next two, the momentum's there. And there's no reason we can't qualify from this group. Listen, if we were to beat Serbia, we probably top the group in the end because I think uh, Wales team if we were to beat Serbia Wales team would pretty much nothing to play for if Serbia were to win their mm. remaining games apart from the game against us Wales have very little to play for we should pick up a win in Cardiff in that case and that would qualify us automatically like worst case scenario for us we're probably going to get into a playoff barring mm. a disaster in one of the Georgia and Moldova games probably going to get into a playoff so all right. Well, yeah. I think we leave it at that. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Um, leave your comments and let us know how you feel. We, we want to hear uh, more from you guys. All right. Thanks very much for watching.